Good afternoon. My name is Kevin Clore. I am the CTO for a company called TentandTable.com. We're a company located in Buffalo, New York. We uh, import and distribute uh, commercial and residential grade party and event rental equipment. Really anything ranging from uh, whatever you would see at an event from tents, tables, chairs to those awesome inflatables that you'll drive by and see at parties. Uh, we provide those primarily to business to business customers, but we also have uh, some residential customers that we will sell direct to. And we are now um, on Odoo as our ERP. So we're, uh, the presentation today is Udu for the Modern Retail Company. And what is the Modern Retail Company? The Modern Retail Company is really, I think, a company that can meet people kind of in the space that they're in and be able to deliver items to people um, in the way that they want to get them. And sometimes you just have to be able to get people the products they want as efficiently and economically as possible. And that's really, to me, what the modern retail company can do. I thought this uh, cartoon was funny because I myself struggle with Alexa, um, trying to get any information out of it, and certainly trying to order out of it. And I think customers sometimes have the same problems with their retail experiences online and just really finding and getting what they want. So a little bit about me and my business. Um, we, uh, we've been a company that's been around since about 2005. And we started off with a platform called ProStores. And we've evolved uh, generally to um, a Magento e-commerce solution where we have four independent websites, uh, tentandtable.com, Party Tents Direct, Zoom Blowers, and Pogo Bounce House. And with having kind of the multi-store setup and the multi-business setup, um, it creates a lot of problems kind of in the way that we do business. And Odoo has been able to address those problems, and that's what I'm really here to talk about today. Uh, we sell, like I said, we have four open source websites on Magento. We have uh, several eBay stores, we have an Amazon store, we have a Walmart store. We have a dedicated sales team that sells directly to customers through quotations. We have a dedicated customer service team that also will engage in sales as well as post-sale issues such as RMAs and replacement orders and uh, whatever the customer may need post-sale. So that provides a lot of challenges for a company um, to manage its inventory, to manage its accounting, uh, to be able to give visibility to everyone in all the various departments with the information that they need, to be able to provide a good customer experience, whether you're a click and buy customer online or you're a customer who calls on the phone and maybe wants to put 20% down on a $10,000 order and pay the rest off, but wants to ensure that when they do pay it off that their inventory is going to be there for them and be able to ship. So in seamless, uh, seamless retailing, um, some of the things that are really important to us is that when we go to customer information, we want to be able to see everything related to that customer. We want to be able to see their order history. We want to be able to see their average ticket. We want to be able to see all of their addresses of record. We want to be able to see their payment types and the way they, they like to do business. Um, we want to be able to fulfill their order, whether it's in the continental United States or Canada, or even if we have to use a freight forwarder. Another complexity with our business is we ship things as small as uh, USPS envelopes to l as large as 10-foot pallets of freight that will go out to certain customers. So customers, especially nowadays, are especially demanding. Um, they, uh, they expect you to have uh, the products that you offer online. They expect those to be in stock. They expect those to ship immediately. They expect them to arrive immediately. And they expect to be communicated with uh, at every step of the way. They want full visibility of the ordering process. And it doesn't matter if they're on eBay, if they're on Magento, or if they're a phone customer. They want to be able to be a part of every process within the order. And again, trying to achieve that in the multiple ways that you do business can be difficult because you're communicating with them amongst various platforms. So within channel operations, um, you know, here are some things that are really important. One of the 
items that I want to really focus on is lower capex. You know, capital expenditure for a, a small business that we are, a small to medium business, is extremely important. You don't want to have to keep spending large sums of money to move your platform into the future, to scale your platform up. You want to have the foundation of that platform to be solid enough that you can simply add to it to provide the scalability that you want. And what I was really finding lacking with other platforms before we uh, integrated with Odoo was to change anything of substance, certainly within Magento, required larger capital expenditures, especially in development, because Magento is not the easiest e-commerce or the easiest platform to develop for. There's lots of conflicts, there's lots of extensions, there's lots of considerations, and you're very limited sometimes in what you can and can't do within a, a, a platform that to me really functions best as a shopping cart. It doesn't really like to do those higher level ERP functions. So capital expenditure here was a real big reason why we decided to switch to Odoo because once we had that as kind of the heart of our e-commerce system, it became easy just to implement apps. It became easy just to implement bridges. And it became easy because of its open source nature to customize solutions with our um, Odoo partner, BrainBuyer. Supply chain, supply chain is something also that's uh, very complex for us. We bring in 99.9% .9 of our products from overseas. Uh, we work with approximately 14 factories outside of the United States. We need to bring those products in. We need to account for those products. We need to get proper costing for those products. And then, once they're in and then they need to leave to the customer, again, we ship them out FedEx. We ship them out in various marketplaces, such as Amazon um, FBM Prime, which means it's got to go out the door immediately. Um, eBay also has very specific time constraints, as does Walmart. Um, we also have freight considerations with customers. So we have to broker with a 3PL and use a TMS system to organize the freight shipments there and be able to give the customer a really good experience and full visibility, especially for freight orders, so they know when those orders are coming and when they can expect them and be ready for them. And then sales service and support. You know, the heart of really, I think, any e-commerce business is still sales. You have to, you know, cater to sales, whether it's click and buy or dedicated sales team or in our position, both. Um, you have to have a system that will allow your sales process to be transparent and allow them the information necessary for them to make good decisions when they're entering into buying transactions. So what does that mean? That means when I'm a dedicated sales rep, um, I need to know what my margins are. I need to know what my margins are at all time, especially when I'm putting together a quote or putting together an order. And oftentimes in other platforms, that visibility wasn't there. Uh, they would just be de kind of dependent on the pricing in the system and then even the reporting that we were getting out at the time were more geared towards accounting and not geared towards sales visibility. So it was hard for them to obtain and certainly hard for them to understand what exactly was their margin on the sale. The other thing is beyond the dedicated sales team, whether we're selling on Magento or whether we're selling on Amazon, that's a big difference. You have a lot of fees to account for on the Amazon side that you may not have on the Magento side. And you have to take all that into consideration when you're making these pricing decisions and which products you're gonna position where to sell to the consumer. And then, you know, just being seamless. Um, one of the things about Odoo which really attracted us was how all of the apps are integrated into one location, but they share information amongst all the applications. So really, uh, whether it's on the mobile app, if you're an enterprise customer, or you're on a desktop or a laptop, at any time, I can see information across multiple platforms just simply by clicking uh, into the applications or within the detail itself. I don't have to access multiple platforms. I don't have to log into Magento for one thing and then log into QuickBooks for another thing and then log into ShipStation to get my shipping information. I can have everything in one location which makes it a lot easier for somebody like me to um, make decisions, get visibility, and not worry about uh, do I have all the information or am I missing some information. So here are just some things that are important, I think, to retailers when you're talking about considering an ERP. Um, 
we used to run ERP functions within the e-commerce system. And what I found is, well, it really provided a poor customer experience because when you're running those advanced processes within your e-commerce system, it just slows your system down. Everything just runs slower. It's glitchier. It's not really made to do it. You can do it, but it really doesn't mean you should do it. Um, in, enhanced robust inventory management. Again, inventory management to any operations. You have to know what you have, what you can sell, when you can ship it, when it's coming in, and when it can get to the customer. Then after it ships, you have to be able to provide them the proper information as far as tracking, when it's going to arrive. And then from an accounting side, you have to know the cost. You have to know the cost compared to the revenue because you want to make sure that you're not losing on the shipping or that you're pricing properly within the marketplace to be able to have an acceptable margin. So there are uh, many other things here um, as far as costing and uh, communication. Um, the bifurcated process within Odoo is something I found attractive coming from Magento. The fact that it'll take a sale and break it up into a sale order and a delivery order, and I can deal with both separately was really important to me. Um, the fact that I can have an RFQ versus a purchase order, which gave me so much more flexibility within the RFQ to kind of uh, an ordering idea, if you will, especially when you're dealing with overseas vendors. And then as it became less of an idea and more of a reality, then confirming it as the purchase order and then being able to deal with the as a separate receipt entity, uh, that was really attractive to, to us. It wasn't something that we had available to us before, and it was the type of visibility that we didn't have available to us before. Order routing and visibility is key. Um, and you know something as simple as the smart app on my phone or my iPad, probably key for a lot of you too. A lot of us here are on the go. We're moving in between departments. We're moving in between locations. We're working at all odd hours. It's really nice to go into the app, hit sales, pull up sale detail, and be able to get the information I need almost instantly. Again, something that wasn't previously available to us. The other thing that I like about Odoo is that although it's um, really an end-to-end -end system, right? It can do everything within Odoo. Sometimes, especially with retailers, you have to meet people where they are. Where we were was we were heavily vested into Magento. So what Odoo offered us was not a platform that said, well, you're either all in or you're all in. What it was a way to take the best of what we felt Odoo offered and meet us in Magento to provide us the best of both worlds. We were able to maintain the significant investment we had on the e-commerce side as well as integrate what we felt was a much better solution on the ERP side. And what's important about that is not everybody right now is just ready to uproot everything. Sometimes you just want to uproot one thing. And Odoo allowed us the ability to do that. So we use Magento. And what I, the slide I have up here now that you're going to see is how seamlessly the two work together. On the right side is the Magento order. Within minutes from that order coming into Magento, it goes into Odoo. And you can see the information translates, again, seamlessly. No issues, no conflicts. It comes in with all the information necessary to begin to perform my advanced ERP functions. So we also have inventory management issues. Um, Odoo, again, gives us great flexibility with inventory management. One of the things that uh, my business was certainly in need of was a modernization of the warehouse. Uh, we have a over 100,000 square foot warehouse. Um, we stock everything we sell. We do very little drop shipping. But it just wasn't modernized. We didn't have bin locations. We didn't have our planning. We weren't able to do wave picking. Um, you know, the company, on the one hand, thankfully, was growing. That became, uh, things became neglected. And one of those was the warehouse management. So what Odoo allowed us to do was really begin to modernize our warehouse, set up proper locations, set up proper barcode functions, uh, be able to set up wave picking and do things more efficiently with more accountability. 
The other thing it allowed us to do was better quality control. So this that you see on the screen right now probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's going to in a minute. We ship out a lot of freight products. One of our pain points was what happens when a customer receives a 10-foot pallet and says, my tent top was not on the pallet, my poles were not on the pallet, my blower was not on the pallet. We never really had a good way to capture the pallet as it would leave the warehouse. Now with Odoo, it's very simple. I give everybody a smartphone or a $50 Android tablet that works in the warehouse. As these pallets are getting put together, they simply hit the paper clip, they hit the take picture, and they snap shots. So now when a customer calls me and says, hey, I didn't receive something, I go right to the delivery order. I ask them, what's your order number? I find it within seconds. I go right to the delivery order. I say, here are the pictures. It's either there or it's not. If it's not there, it's a warehouse issue, right? And I can address that. If it is there, it's a freight company issue. And now we can file a claim with the freight company within the time required, which is really 24 hours, or they're going to disclaim. And I'm telling you, that little enhancement, that little process change has saved us tens of thousands of dollars because now freight claims are getting made within, the, within a timely fashion. We have the pictures to back up what we're saying and we win the claims now whereas before either we were time barred or they told us, well, you can't prove what you shipped out. So it's little things like that that we're able, that Odoo was really able to provide us the visibility that we needed. So the other thing that I think plagues retail companies, especially ones like ours that does business in a lot of different ways, is communication. How do you communicate effectively amongst multiple departments, especially when your departments are in different platforms? So um, through our, uh, let me just say this real quick. All of this in the retail world, um, all these technological enhancements, in my opinion, require two things. You have to have ownership or however your company is structured um, that, is, that will give you the latitude and the flexibility to investigate and make these decisions and these expenditures to explore new technology. And we're blessed at Tent and Table to have that. Our ownership group is tremendous and they give us the flexibility to do that. And you need a really good partner, right? You need a really good developer partner. And we're fortunate to have BrainWire as a developer partner that when I give them ideas, they can turn those ideas into reality. And here's an example of that. Our sales team is in a CRM system, as maybe many of your sales teams are. We don't want them in the ERP system. I don't want to give a sales rep who is more like a bull in a china shop the ability to go in and have access to inventory records. I want them in the CRM. I'm comfortable with them there. But they need a way to communicate to shipping because they have a customer that has to get things out quickly. So here's a CRM record. This is the CRM that we use. And this is the order and they're able to go in and easily put a note on an order for shipping. And you see the note says, please do not uh, ship out this order. Okay, so how does that get to shipping? Well, what my uh, partner BrainWire was able to do was to create a customization very easily through the open source nature of Odoo to create what's called a light bulb, or we call it an organizer comment. So the minute they put that comment in the CRM, it goes right to Odoo, creates a light bulb. So everybody can see it in the grid. We know, uh-oh, this order needs some attention. What's this? So we see it automatically came into Odoo under organizer comment, and there's the organizer comment right there. But you know, sometimes shipping gets busy. They may not see the grid. They may miss it. So we went a step further and said, let's set up an email alert. So whenever an organizer is put on an order, it automatically gets emailed to the two shipping managers with a PDF attachment of the shipping order with the organizer comment. So now it's in their email, it's in Odoo on their shipping grid, and it's also under organizer comment. Three ways for them to be communicated with on a critical shipment, on critical information relevant to the customer that happens instantly from CRM to Odoo in real time. So it was a really nice customization that was done and it just shows you the power of Odoo to enhance the communication process. Cost. Cost is a big issue in anybody's company. How to accurately assess your cost for margin purposes. Because we import everything, we have landed cost. We have to account for duties and freight in every product that we bring in, 
And if we don't, we're not going to cost them properly for the marketplace. So again, Odoo provides us a great solution. They have a landed cost feature. Um, they allow you to do it based on weight. They allow you to do it based on density. They allow you to do it based on fixed price. We do it based on weight. Every container we receive, we know what the freight is, we know what the duty is. We run this process, right? So you can see we're able to put it in the proper account. We have attributed it to freight and duty charges. There's the amount that's attributed to this container. It knows the weight of the container. It's a simple algebraic function of weight over cost. And now I can see for each product what it did. So for example, the first product, it started off at $75, and it ended up at $91.65 after all of the landed cost was factored in. So what do we do with that information? <coughs> what we do with that information is we have it automatically update the product detail within Odoo. So anybody at any time can go into the product detail within Odoo, and they can see where are we with this product in terms of landed cost for profit, and cost of goods for ordering. Um, we also put it in the order detail so we can visualize a quick margin or profit loss for each individual order. And I see I have five minutes, so I'm gonna just try to get into the reporting features real quick. Another thing I uh, wanted to talk about, or that I began to talk about, was meeting people where they are. While my owners uh, are really accepting of the technology and really supportive with the expenditures, they like to do business a certain way. When they order, they're used to spreadsheets. And we used to have this battle all the time of, use the technology. No, we want to use the spreadsheets. No, we want you to use the technology. So I said, hey, with Odoo, let's just make the spreadsheet. So here you see a profit loss report, right? It just prints out as a spreadsheet. And all the relevant data is there. Here's what we call the master inventory report, and this is for ordering. Again, I can filter it any way I want for them, print it out per vendor. It's the spreadsheet they like, updated in real time from Odoo, so no manual work needs to be done. It comes out as Excel. They print on their nice 11 by 17 in color, and they can sit down and make all the ordering decisions they want because I have SKU, product, all the inventory information, all the container information, and all the sales information in one place for them. And it happens in seconds and they have access to it in real time. And I can meet them where they are, making them feel better about Odoo, not only as a technology, but as an investment. We do the same thing with low stock. We provide them low stock information based on reordering quantities. I just wanna to touch on this. Uh, Odoo has tremendous reporting capabilities. These are SKU reports. We sell in multiple different marketplaces. I can take any SKU and I can see what it's sold for in each marketplace, what the average unit price is, and I can see if I'm properly priced amongst multiple marketplaces in seconds. No more guessing, no more wondering. Just by simply putting in the SKU, I can see everywhere it's sold. And if that's not enough for me, well, I can break it down by order and by day. I love the dashboard. I love having everything up there be visible. I like being able to be, see my receipts, my delivery orders, and my drop ships all in one place. It's a reminder to where people are that you need to look at this every day and you need to account for what's in there. You can see all the types of information that we get just from looking at the grid. I know what's in full stock. I know what to expect. So I think we have a couple minutes left. So again, it takes a great ownership, it takes faith in expenditure, and it takes a really good partner. It takes a really good partner to be able to implement your vision of what you want to do with the platform. And we have all of that at Tent and Table. We're blessed and we're fortunate. But Odoo has really provided us with a platform that is scalable, that is robust, that meets where we are, and will allow us to grow into the future and continue to add on and add on technology that can allow us to expand into different marketplaces. Now, I don't wanna go late, because lunch is next, and I don't ever come between people and lunch. So if anybody has any questions, we have a minute or, or so left, and I'm also gonna be outside after or in here after, and I'm welcome to stay as long as people want to talk. Anybody have any questions? This gentleman over here. Um, 
what did you use to connect Magento with Odoo? Is it third so party or something from Odoo? Yeah, so it was a very uh, inexpensive third party uh, bridge application uh, made by WebCol, just a Magento to Odoo extension. It was literally installed and up and running and working within 24 hours. And it works, works very well. Uh, what was the biggest challenge uh, when you were switching to Odoo? The biggest challenge in switching to Odoo was, uh, I, apart from training people on how to use it, was to um, really get people to understand now that they needed to work from within the platform. Everybody was more comfortable working in the way they wanted to work, whether it was their notebooks or their spreadsheets or their, their post-it notes or maybe it was in Magento. Getting them to understand that now everything was located in one place and teaching them how the apps kind of shared information, it was a completely new experience for us. But once we taught people the proper way to look for the information and where it was, it was really useful. But training, training was the most, I think, the mindset, right? Like changing mindset is really difficult within businesses, especially when you're dealing with a sales side and a shipping and an inventory side. Changing mindset is tough. Anybody else have any questions? Yes, sir. Um, do you have custom pricing for each channel or search engine optimization per like on Magento, different with mm -hmm. Amazon, different with eBay, and so forth? Yep, I understand your question, and the answer to that is yes. Uh, every channel has its own fee structure. Um, every channel has its own type of customer. You know, Walmart and Amazon may have the same fee structure but Walmart and Amazon have a different type of customer. Um, we account for that in our pricing. Uh, we do SEO Magento heavily. Um, we're, very, we're more geared towards organic uh, results as opposed to paid results, but we do both. But we really understand what our cost is on every marketplace. And what's nice is, you know, with Odoo, I can break everything down by channel. And I can also then group it so I can see the pricing across channels and I can see where I am because on your open source site, you want to be the cheapest, right? Like that's where you want people to go. That's where your margins are greatest. And sometimes it's amazing because I'll put a SKU in and I'll look and I'll say, well, why are we the cheapest on Amazon? That's the most expensive site to be on. So you can, you know, now that we have the visibility, we can make those decisions and, and we can correct act, we can correct course much quicker. Any other questions? Did you face any critical challenges when you were first uh, implementing the inventory management part as a retailer? Because I think that's where we're headed in trying to implement that aspect of Odoo, the inventory management part. We, we did. So uh, one of the things with using Magento and, and communicating with the different marketplaces is um, I found out that third-party marketplaces don't like bundles. They just don't like them. So I wanted to create an ecosystem where in Magento that communicates with the third-party party marketplaces, everything was a simple product. And then Odoo let me the flexibility of creating the bundle in inventory for those who were picking and packing. And that created a challenge, right? How do you have a bundle one place and a simple product the other place? And that created you know, some issues that we were able to resolve with BrainBuyer's help. Uh, but now I have a really ideal system where, where I'm communicating with the world is a simple product and boy, inventory is nice now and descriptions and the way it communicates is much better. But on the back end, where inventory is, it's more accurate, right? Because now I can have my bundles and each component has a quantity and then it just recalculates every time it's sold, telling me what's available. And now the pick ticket comes out and they know exactly what to pick. So that was, um, from a retailer's aspect, the flexibility of being able to work with bundles and simples. Um, it created a challenge, but it also created an opportunity. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Hi. So, it, if you were to do this again from a, from the start, would you go fully on Odoo with e-commerce, or would you still do it separately? So, um, that's a really interesting question, and I, I think, as somebody who's a CTO and a project manager, right? I gravitate towards everything in one location. Um, 
So yeah, I would, I would probably really heavily look into the Odoo website capability and see if that would be a good solution for us. We have other factors that um, create um, issues, especially with quoting and partial payments and um, financing payments in different ways. And I'd have to look into that more and certainly the SEO aspect of it. But as a project manager and a CTO, the more I can get under one roof, the, the better I feel. But I'm also a true believer in business is not a place to work on your weaknesses. It's a place to really exploit your strengths. So get things that are the best at what they do and integrate them. Um, Odoo one day may, may be at that level with the website. It may be there now. But the other important thing, and I can't stress this enough, is you have to meet people where they are. You know, we got introduced to Odoo because it could meet us where we were. We didn't have to compromise. Now as we make decisions and we know Odoo, we may be willing to make changes. And I think that's the beauty of the system is that it really does allow you to implement what you need at the time and then grow. I think so too. Thanks for the presentation. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No? Thank well, you. thank you so much. Enjoy lunch. Have a great show. I appreciate your time.